people, an accident took place in Old Harbor St. Catherine yesterday involving a motorcycle and a motor car. Two females were actually on the bike when it head on with the motor car. Now, I'm not sure exactly where in Old Harbor the accident took place, but the video shows schoolgirls walking down the road and then you can see a bus coming. Now, meanwhile, the bus coming down, there's a car that is stopped right there, people. One car stopped on the left side and wait till the bus pass. I'm not sure if the car had on its indicator, but the car was going to make a right turn. So it stopped. Anyway, the bus passed, but the bike was actually behind the car coming. And it seems as if the person riding the bike did not see or recognize say, watcha, the car are going to make a turn. So as the person goes to book now and barely escape the judgment with the car we are going to turn, the bike lick out one of the car light. But it looked like, say, the leak where the bike lick out the car light, it distract the rider. And the rider go head on in at the oncoming vehicle same time. Remember, two of them upon the bike, two females. And them go so boom, lick up, fly up in her ear, and jack back, boof her down. How are ready? Is she a ready? Is she a ready? From school in. Watch her neck. Watch her neck. Watch her neck. Watch her neck. Straighten her neck. Straighten her neck. Straighten her neck. Straighten her neck. Don't put on her neck. Don't straighten her neck. Pull her neck. You don't know she lick her neck. Don't pull her neck. Hold on neck, just hold on neck. Cheeky. Cheeky. Why you always ride the bike so mama? Just hold on neck. She need to move no Cheeky just hold on just people in a ride in our driving, anything can happen, you know. I mean, and take that from the streets. But you have to be careful, right? And if Cheeky did have watch the car, that would have never happened. Because she would have waited till the car turn or ride on the other side. But the thing is, as I say, I don't know if the person who made the right turn had on his or her indicator. You see it? That can be a problem too. But you have to watch what you have to do because one car did is just stop, you know, just go move off. The bus pass, seen, and here comes the next car. So you can't overtake like that. Very dangerous. I want to see what go on. She head on right now the car. Anybody wants to see the full video, there's a link in the comment section for that video. Click the link, join the group, and you can watch the video in the group. And our normal site, may I tell you. She passed the car, boom, so, and head on right in the wide car. And then fly up and drop a dot. Mm -hmm. Them could have dead. I hope them not dead still because I say me not really hear nothing like if them dead or not. But... As you can see, them get hurt. Not a normal one, people. You see, if you're the believer, or you are not yet a believer, and you are thinking of serving the Almighty, I want to advise you to know God for yourself. I want to advise you to know God for yourself. You see this? This book here. It's called the Bible. This is how you know God. By studying this and reading this. Some of you are depending on a man. To know God. For yourself. How could I have my wife. And depending on somebody else. To know my wife. How could I have my parents and I'm, and I'm depending on somebody else to know my parents? I have a responsibility to know my parents for myself. I have a responsibility to know my wife for myself and to know my children for myself. It is called relationship. So if you claim to have a relationship with God... 
Why you don't try to know him for yourself? You get up every day with your Bible and you go to church and guess what? The only time you read this, the only time you read it is on Sunday when pastor introduced the text. The only time when pastor introduced the text, that's the only time you read this. When you go back home, you put it down until next week Sunday or next week Sabbath. Know God for yourself. Because if you don't know him for yourself, you ain't going to serve him. That is exactly what is happening in the world today. Blind following blind. Some people who call themselves so-called pastors get up every day scamming God's people, being a disgrace to the kingdom of God and some blind people following them. Because guess what? They have a building named church. How could God be a father and you not try if you know him? For yourself. It, it, it's confusing. You know, in COVID, when church shut down, many Christians stop go to church, literally backslide, because guess what? Them need church to be saved. If church shut down, some are uno no save. Whenever there is a disgrace that takes place in the body of Christ because of false Christian and false teachers and false apostles and all of those false people, many Christians are so ashamed that them stop come to church. Because they can't take the shame. Actually, you don't know God. If you did know God, nothing could detour you from serving the Almighty. Nothing. But some of you don't know God. You know how some of you get saved? When a pastor did preach to you and promise you that if you serve the Lord, you're going to get rich. And if you serve the Lord, your life is going to get better materially. And because you want your life to change, you, 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 you claim that you are saved and come into church, but you, 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 you don't really convert. You're not really converted. You're not really converted. So guess what happened? You have to... Some of you are like the wind. Tossed to and flow. Anywhere the wind blow, that's where you blow. I can't stress, I can't overly stress this, that many of you, you don't even study your Bible. There are some materials that are online. Some of you, you are on your phone every day. Every day you are on your phone. Yes, and you are on your laptop. Oh, laptop, phone, internet. Have you ever utilized any of the online platform that you can use, or online material that you can use to study? Do you know what is called a strong dictionary or a, or a vine dictionary? Do you know what is called a strong concordance? Do you know what is a commentary? Do you have a, a, a study Bible? Huh? Do you have a study Bible? Let me give you one. This, is, this one is old. This one is very old. It is called a vine study Bible very old. I, I rinse this. I have this for a year, rinsing it. It is called a vine study Bible. Very good Bible. You can buy one of them. And you study to show yourself approved. Some of you, you need to start to study the word. You need to start to develop a prior life. You need to start to have a connection with God. You have more connection with church, more than how you have a connection with God. You ever see how some of you dress up going to church every day? 
because as if you're going to church to model because you have to put on your your nice church clothes your modeling clothes uh to go and show people oh i'm going to church and you're here all groom looking a certain way uh, because guess what it's all about a show some of you need to get in the word and study it and know god for yourself There's a lot of materials out there that you can use to study. The Rastaman study. The Muslim study. The Hindu study. The Jews study. What the heck wrong with some of you 